guys, Buenos Dias. Do I look like an alien? Red light district. <laughs> what do we got going on here? What's up guys, good morning. Uh, back at it again up here at Deer Camp. Kind of the same strategy, Casey and I are gonna go kind of low in this basin, see if we can't find the big buck again. We got Martin on the spotter. And uh, yeah, it's kind of like every day seems like we're starting over a little bit, doing it again. That's the game plan. Find the big buck and then divide and conquer. Oh wow, how's my, I am, how's, I am an alien. How's my focus, dude? <laughs> Go to the out intro <laughs> now. <laughs> across from me downhill a bunch but I'm hoping that at some point bucks either move from left to right or right to left same spot as last night so. need a big old elk to step out too just like last night but we need it to be a bull I just watched a huge buck go right over that ridge line just below that piece of brush. Gosh, it's so steep. I'm gonna try to get there as quick as I can. Just peer over the edge, hopefully he's still around. Eric should be over past that pocket of pines we call the shooting tree. But not much action over here this morning. 
Martin glassed up four smaller bucks headed down and away from us, but we're looking for that one. We really have a target on one buck. We really want to kill. You know, something nice comes out. We'll shoot for sure. You know, there was a nice three, little three-point in here first morning. Not shoot, but really want to try to kill that big four-point. Just something about, you know, trying to kill the most mature animal in, a, in an area really, you know, helps hone your skills and makes you push and make you work for it. But uh, just got word, Joel is up over the knob, up over the this ridge here, into what we call the cliffs. He just texted and said he hit a really nice four point. So we're kind of waiting to hear from him. He said it might have been shoulder, but he thinks he got enough penetration. But uh, he ran down in some quakey, so we're just sitting here waiting to hear. I told him to just sit down and eat some snacks. And Hey, it's been a good couple days for our buddies that we brought up here. David Wise shot a cowhawk last night. And uh, Joel, Whitetail Fit, sounds like he just hit a big, a nice four point. So, heck yeah, that's all we can hope for is hope. Hopefully our friends are successful too. It's an absolutely gorgeous morning. Third morning in a row, it's been beautiful. Not too many clouds in the sky, but here about one o'clock, two o'clock, I'll be hoping that there's some cloud cover because it gets hot. Well, good news. I just got a call from Joel. I guess they were on the text thread earlier, but I wasn't getting them. I got a call from Joel saying he hit a nice buck at 63 yards. So we pulled out of our spots. It was starting to heat up anyways. Thermals were switching. We decided it's time to go over there and see what Joel got, help him with the recovery. I don't think he's found blood yet, but it sounded like he hit him and the buck did like a death run straight downhill into those aspens. Meat packers here. Yeah, meat hauler. Here to pack your meat. 1 800 meatpackers.com. Uh, hopefully he's dead. Yeah. I have a good feeling about it though. Me too. So you watched the video over and it hurt, it sounded like just cavity. cavity hit. Yeah. yeah, he was worried it was shoulder blade, but I just feel like chances are he just smashed right through. Did you find a steeper spot, Joel? No. <laughs> Dude, when he came down through this cut, I swear he was doing 80 mile an hour. I don't doubt it. Holy crap. Dude, give me some. Yes, sir. The I cliffs produced. The more produced. I think about it, the better I feel about it. I think he came down here so fast that he just, I don't think he had time to bleed, dude. Yeah. Dang, man. Like, from the time I shot him 200 yards up, up there, here, look the at time this. he got here was about 20 seconds, maybe. Oh, probably not even that. Probably huh? not even. 15 seconds. Yeah, up here. What's happening? Well, we made our way over to Joel's location. He's down here, but uh, as soon as Martin showed up, he's like, see this blood? So we're on a blood trail already. Looks like pretty good blood. I don't know the whole situation where he shot him around anything, but there's pretty good blood all the way down there. <laughs> Liking it. What you got there? Oh, I got this whole rocks full of blood. See all that? Joel was like, I don't know how he didn't die just running down this. Well, look how steep it is. He's probably dead on his feet just getting carried with momentum. There's, there's Eric and Joel. Man, he had to come straight off this thing. Yeah, one. he did a couple of little Yeah, he came straight line. Dude, that's a 15 foot sheer cliff right there. Hey, Joel, you want to come put your hands on your first uh, high country mule deer? <laughs> you are lying to me. If you don't want them, I'll put my tag on me. It looks pretty You're good. You are lying to me, bro. <laughs> good job, buddy. Are you Get kidding me? Piled up. <laughs> you didn't go far, did he? <laughs> I bet he tumbled down that, dude. You smoked him. Look at that guy. Guys. Oh nice my work, gosh. Joe. Nice work, man. Good job, man. Bro. Yes, Heck, fuck. yes. Oh. Dude, I would just... This is oh, so steep, deer, dude. Right? Is that your first mule deer, This buddy? is my first mule deer ever. Yeah. I'm gonna wheel him around. Oh, dude. Where'd you hit him, Freaking hammered him, baby! <laughs> oh, he broke his tine up here. Mm -hmm. 
for it. Maybe <laughs> that dude. Dude! What a stud. Look at that shot right there. Smoke. Perfect, him. man. Perfect shot. I knew that was by that vi that sound on that video is just like yeah, a balloon pop. <laughs> yeah, I broke that tine a little, but uh -huh. that's cool. Oh my god. All those days running around that did straight off. What did I say last night, dude? We're sitting in the campfire and we're talking about when we're gonna come off the mountain. I'm like, dude, it's cool because I'm gonna shoot a deer tomorrow. Yeah. I love how ugly his coat is. <laughs> I know, it's just freaking terrible. <laughs> it's just nasty. He smells too. Oh uh, yeah, dude, he's a stud. Dude, I don't. I'm just down that I killed something up here, dude. Here she blows. First time separating the bag this year. That's always a good thing. Means you're gonna be hauling a little bit of meat. All right, well, oh, there we go. Is that everything? That's gonna be light. It doesn't seem like very much. That's the lightest backpack you'll ever carry out in high country. Unless you have five guns. Yeah. 